Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this is all about making two sums balance on either side of the equal sign. So what is important here for each of our sums is the equal sign. So the first thing we're going to do is just circle that equal sign to make that obvious. Now we've got a left hand side of a sum and a right hand side of the sum and with all four of these questions the answer on the left side, so the answer on the left side must be equal to the answer on the right side. Now, that doesn't mean the number that's in the box on the right side. It means the answer to the right side. Once the number in the box has been put in and it's been times by 6, times by 6, times by 6, times by 6 and take away 24. So what this means will become clear as we move through the questions. So let's look at the first one. We've got 4 times 6 plus 5 times 6. Now the other complication we've got here is that this involves bod mass. Some of you may call this bid mass. Now let's refresh our memories to what this actually means. Well the B stands for brackets. The O and the I stands for order or indices, which is basically squared and cubed. D stands for divide. M stands for multiply. A stands for add. And S stands for subtract. And we basically have this existing because it tells us what order we need to do things in. And brackets is the most important thing. So anytime there's any brackets in a calculation, you do that first. Then you have squared and cubed. Now, divide and multiply are actually of equal importance. So some people could call it bomdas, but everyone just says bodmas. But divide and multiply are actually of equal importance, and add and subtract are also of equal importance. So div as long as you do any divides or multiplies before you do any adds and subtracts, which is what we're going to have in this question, actually. So for this first question, we've got a multiply, an add, and a multiply. Now, Bodmas tells us to do any multiplies before any adds. So we must make sure we do that. Now, it doesn't matter which one we do first, as long as we do the 4 times 6 and the 5 times 6 before we do the add. So, well, 4 6s are 24, and 5 6s are 30, and 24 out of 30 is 54. So if the answer on the left-hand side is 54, the answer on the right-hand side is 54. But we don't mean that the missing number is 54. We mean the missing number times 6 is 54. Well, if you know your 6 times table, you will know that 9 times 6 is 54. So the missing box on the right-hand side must be 9. Now, of course, there is another way you could have done that. You could have thought of this as 4 lots of 6 plus 5 lots of 6. Well, 4 lots of 6 plus 5 lots of 6 is obviously going to be 9 lots of 6. That would have been a, possibly a quicker way that you could have done it. Okay, the second question. We've got 7 multiplied by 6 add 12. Well, we've got to do the multiply first. So 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. And then we've got to add on the 12. 42 add 12 is 54. So the answer on the left-hand side is 54, which means the answer on the right-hand side must be 54. And we've already said from the previous question that 54 is 9 lots of 6. So the missing answer again is also 9. Now, just when you think that all the missing answers are 9, let's see what happens with the next one. Well, we've got 6 plus 60 plus 600. It might be easy to read that backwards. 600 plus 60 plus 6 is going to be 666. And we need to know what the missing number is on the right-hand side. Well, if the answer on the left-hand side is 666, the answer on the right-hand side is 666. But the missing number times 6 is going to equal 666. So if we divide... 666 let's work in reverse because something times 6 is 666 so if we go in reverse and do 666 divided by 6 we'll get the missing number well 6 is into 6 goes once 6 is into 6 goes once 6 is into 6 goes once so the missing number must be 111
Now, as for the last one, this one might be a little bit trickier. So again, let's use our bod mass. So we need to do this multiply first, and then this multiply before we do the add, leave the add to last. So 12 sixes is gonna be 72. Add seven sixes, well, seven sixes is 42. So we need to do 72, add 42. 72, add 42. Two plus two is four, seven plus four is 11. That's 114. So the left hand side comes to 114, which means the answer to the right hand side must also be 114. But that doesn't mean the missing box is 114. It means that whatever the mystery number is, times by six, take away 24, must be equal to 114. So what we've got to do is work in reverse. Well, the opposite of take 24 is add 24, and the opposite of multiply by six is divide by six. So if we work in reverse, from 114 and we can reverse by adding 24 and then dividing by 6 we'll get back to the mystery number and it's the mystery number that goes in this box so 114 add 24 let's just work that out sometimes you might not be able to do this in your head 4 plus 4 is 8 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 plus nothing is 1 so that's 138 and we need to do 138 now divided by 6 so 138 divided by 6, 6 is into 1 won't go, but you haven't really used the 1, carry that to make 13, 6 is into 13 goes twice, remainder 1, because 2 6s are 12, so there's 1 left over to get up to 13, and 6 is into 18 goes 3 times. So it looks like 6 is into 138 is 23. So... Our mystery number, now we're back to the beginning, must be 23. So it looks as though our missing answer in here is 23. There is, of course, another way you could have done that. You could have thought of this as being 12 lots of 6 plus 7 lots of 6. Well, 12 lots of 6 plus 7 lots of 6 would actually be 19 lots of 6. And this 24 here, well, 24 is four lots of six. So if you think of your 23 lots of six, 23 lots of six, take away four lots of six would also be 19 lots of six, which would be equal to what we've got on the left-hand side. So there's another way you could have done it. 